Здравствуйте. Hello, we are Yana and Ellen, mother and daughter. Still. And yeah, still, <laughs> still, still. Welcome back. Um, we're doing another cooking video out of our cookbook, More Than Borscht, a cookbook and cultural compendium. This time we're making, uh, I'm very excited, we're making a staple of Russian uh, holiday table, feasts, any kind of occasion or just whenever you are not too lazy to cut up a bunch of stuff. Um, we are making salad olivia. Salat Olivia. Salat Olivia, yes. Oh my god, this is so good. It's the this most so delicious, good. it's the most popular, it's the most, the most. Why is it the most? Who I knows, guess. but it's so good. It's just impossible to explain. Yeah. And we have a lot of interesting facts about the salad as well, so stay right. tuned. So, ingredients. A lot of ingredients. Um, so this is gonna make uh, about a pail, which is the quantity that this is. The salad is really measured in pails. You're gonna make a lot. So bologna. Uh, this is a pound. Pound. Okay. Pound. I don't know. That's what it said in the package. But you need about a pound of bologna. Three uh, Idaho potatoes. So you know they don't have to be Idaho, but they're about they're this about size. that size. Three eggs that are hard boiled one can of sweet peas um they are the can is 15 ounces mm -hmm. uh, so it's the bigger can six to seven uh, six to seven know. uh pickles very important about these pickles they have to be in brine ah yes 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 yes, yes. they cannot be vinegar pickles so you might have trouble depending on where you go finding them i Seriously? i feel like i have spent hours of my life standing in the supermarket looking at all the pickles trying to find the ones that are just made with salt in it usually says in brine on the packaging i think the reason the salad is so delicious is because it has a little bit of the sweet flavor and a little bit of the salty flavor and then it has the creaminess from mayonnaise um and mayonnaise is the dressing for this salad you can use whatever mayonnaise but really the best is russian or japanese so they're kind of a little more liquidy um and there's a little i don't know what mm -hmm. it is they have a different flavor um so this is like japanese those qp mayonnaise and optionally half an onion it's for crunch you chop it up really finely you don't have to add it but it adds a little juiciness and really all you have to do is chop all this stuff up and chop it up pretty finely um you mm -hmm. want it to be all cut up and that's pretty much it so that's what we're gonna do there you go, there you go. i will I, chop i guess start I'll, with the potatoes i guess i'll chop these pickles um and then we will put it all in this oh, wow. bowl i sharpen this knife but not enough Okay, so approximately, I don't know, I didn't measure the pieces, but... Uh, well, what do you think like this? Small. No, two times smaller. It's two times smaller than this. Two times smaller. So I think uh, the module would be this piece of pea. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Try to make it the size of a pea. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what about the history? So the history of the salad is kind of funny. You know, at some point, um, mayonnaise entered the country, the country of Russia, and it uh, came from Europe, obviously, but it became very popular. Well, it came from France, I guess. And the salad was being made by a Belgian chef whose name was Lucien Olivier, um, but it wasn't called Olivier salad. I mean, I think that's a myth where the name came from. I don't know. I don't really know. But anyway, he was making the salad, he was working at some fancy restaurant. One day, there was a, a kind of somebody that was working under him, like maybe it was a sous chef um, or somebody. Ivan Ivanov, clearly like the most Russian name I've ever heard. Um, and he looked at the chef's setup on the table and like reverse engineered the salad and figured out what was in it and basically stole the recipe and then went to work for this other restaurant which was like supposedly considered inferior but i don't know why 
and he started making it there. And so he basically stole it. Really? That that's you know it, this is like one of these historical things. They're like, well, how do you? Know, is it a legend? Is it true? Probably there's some kernel of truth. Who knows? The funny thing is that back then, when this salad was being made, the ingredients were completely different. I mean, this was a very fancy salad. So it had crayfish, it had lobster, capers. What else? I would have to refer to our book for all the... Whatever it is, I even didn't hear uh, these days. And then, you know, it was during the Soviet Union that um, the it salad... Simpler, yeah. simpler. Mm -hmm. So... They started using pickles, potatoes, um, eggs, peas, and bologna. And the funny thing about this bologna is that it's called... Oh my god, I'm trying to pick it up, but I can't. Doktorska. It's called Doktorska Kolbasa. Do you want to come? Yeah. Um, it's called Doktorska Kolbasa, which means doctor's kolbasa, kilbasa. And it was actually inspired by American bologna. Это был Микоян? I think Микоян. So there was this guy, who oh, was he, like the health minister or something? Mm -hmm. He was the health minister uh, in like the 50s, if I'm not mistaken, um, in the Soviet Union. And he went to America and he did a lot of different studies on how to... You know, they have a whole thing about like efficiency, but also health. So they want, you know, they wanted people to eat healthy. Um, and so he saw this, he saw this bologna in America and he tried to make a version of it that was healthy. So I guess like it didn't have additives or chemicals. I mean, I don't know. When you look at it now, like this is not what you eat to stay healthy, but, but you know, how they make it now is probably a lot different than how they used mm -hmm. to make it. Anyway, so they call the doctors kolbasa because, um, you know, doctor equals healthy. Absolutely. And then the uh, onion, I think, is probably the one that needs to be chopped into the smallest pieces because, you know, onion, it's got a kind of, a, it's very strong. And to protect yourself from the onion. Oh, now you need a hat. <laughs> mysterious woman in Pogmito. Mysterious woman with sensitive eyes. Alright, I can't see anything. Okay, then the eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. I love eggs. Mm -hmm. And this is, you can't even imagine it is so delicious. And you see, this, the point is, our book has very simple recipes, so we uh, oh, chose for the book uh, the most, okay, you could, um, uh, the most basic recipes, including, let's say, this um, uh, uh, Olivia. It's kind of the most well-known, beloved. Yes, but it's still very tasty, so if you would say, okay, I cannot cook, I'm not capable. Everybody is capable, everybody is capable at least to um, uh, to uh, use recipes and to cook from our book. It's yeah. absolutely easy. But you, you know, you, you can see yourself. See, I think we have a problem. I'm not sure how. <laughs> Wait, yeah, I'm really, guess... hold on, I'm really struggling with this actually. All right, so um, we did have to get a bigger bowl for this. So we definitely underestimated. Yes, it just of course happens to the best of us. But that's okay. Not a big deal either. So world. we might Not actually need. Field. We might actually need more mayonnaise. Probably yes. All right, so. <laughs> so the last ingredient is mayo, and then we will see again how much uh, mayo. Who knows? We will see right now because it has to have certain consistency. But uh, 
Okay, and then uh, when we're gonna try, we will decide do we need to put some salt or maybe not. It depends how salty the um, uh, the cucumbers were. The pickles. Pickles. What's the difference? It's the same Oh, yeah. Species. So do oh, we... it's salty. It doesn't need... Doesn't need salt. Mm -mm. Okay, so that means we have enough, again, pickles, and pickles were enough salty, so therefore... Okay, let me try. Mm -hmm. I think I need to try it again. <laughs> this is for me. This is for you. This is for me. Anyway, we're done with Olivier. This is um, um, really, you will try. This is really, really, really delicious. And you learn something, so when you make this for people, you could also be like, oh, and by the way, and give them a bunch of historical facts. Mm hmm Yeah. But that's it. Can you imagine that's how simple and how, how beautiful, how healthy... Is it healthy? Could be worse. <laughs> okay, so that's it. Uh, and we will see you next time with something exciting. Пока. Пока. До свидания. До свидания.